Welcome back to more Summoner's War Monster Strategies. Today we are moving on to, well, probably the most well-known monster in the entire game. Because she is the first monster that every single player in the game gets. And that is the Water Fairy, Elusia. So, Elusia is easily most well-known for being a hybrid. Yes, she's probably the most popular hybrid monster in the game. Because again, you get her early, actually you get her first. And she has a pretty unique combination of skills alongside stats that make her pretty tricky to ruin her, you know, should they do it offensively or defensively, that's the issue, that's the debate. But let's talk about her stats first. So her stats as a level 46 star monster are as follows, 9060 HP, 626 attack, 582 defense, and 104 speed. The speed is a little bit above average, average is about 100 to 102 speed. The um, attack stat Pretty impressive, 626, not amazing, but pretty impressive. The defense stat is 582, that's actually pretty good, not bad, a little bit of above average. And the HP 9000, uh, that's average, I guess. Yeah, it's around average, 9000-ish. So, really, I mean, it comes down to your skills, right? Yeah, let's talk about the skills. The first skill is Aqua Hurricane. This one says, attacks the enemy three times with a whirling st uh, storm of water, freezes the enemy for one turn with a 20% chance. Okay, second skill, Purify. Removes all harmful effects on the target ally and recovers its HP. The recovery amount is proportional to the attack power. And the third one, Sleep Spell. Puts the enemy to sleep for two turns. Effect is removed if the enemy is attacked. Okay, so this skill, Sleep Spell, is actually a very, very interesting move because there's something about this move that a lot of people don't realize. They just don't know this because it doesn't say in the skill. Basically, Sleep Spell, and watch this, you're going to be shocked if you didn't know this, it bypasses resistance. What does this mean? This means that Sleep Spell will always put the enemy to sleep unless uh, three following conditions. If the enemy is an, an immunity buff, number two, if an enemy is actually immune to sleep, such as let's say I believe the Fire Monkey King who has like, he's immune to inability effects, you know, a, basically a passive of being immune to that. And then the third one, if the attack lands as a glancing hit. If none of these three things happen, oh and by the way, when I'm talking about uh, number two, if an enemy is immune, I also mean bosses. Everybody knows that bosses are naturally immune to inability effects, stun, freeze, and sleep, so yeah. Again, I'll repeat. Number one, if an enemy is under an immunity buff. Number two, if an enemy is immune to sleep, which is basically all bosses in the game, or most, I would say. And or, and or if an enemy has a passive that makes them immune to sleep, or inability effects in general. And then number three, glancing hit. If neither of these three happen, sleep spell will always put the enemy to sleep, no matter what. Yes, it's something that most people don't actually know, but it's true. Because of that, and because of, you know, her being uh, a better healer, the more attack power she has, she's actually a very unique healer. She is a very unique monster. So let's talk about the runes, and I'll talk about her role a bit more. So, Elusia is generally regarded to be the best when it comes to Fatal Energy, and then for slots 2, 4, and 6, using Attack or HP in each of the slots, depending on what you want to do. Basically, it's a big debate. Because people say, you know, should I put more HP or more attack? The more attack power she has, the more damage she will deal with skill 1 and skill 3, and the more she will heal with skill 2, because it's based off attack. But, the more HP she has, the more tanky she is, and her being a healer slash supporter debuffer means that she needs some tankiness, you know, to be there for a lot of turns and support team. So the more HP she has, the more she can survive, the more she can heal, and the more she can put enemies to sleep, etc, etc. So it's hard. It's hard to make her, like, a perfectly ruined. People say to just make her a hybrid, you know? Put a lot of attack and a lot of HP. Put Fatal Energy and put Attack HP HP or HP HP, or sorry, HP Attack Attack, you know? Two and one, either or. Or, if you want, you can just go all out on one side, all out. You can put... Fatal Energy, attack, attack, attack. She will heal a massive amount, and she will deal some pretty high damage because her attack stat is actually, like I said, at 626 base, which is actually pretty good. But the problem is she will not survive long if she is not under the right support. So, 
it's hard to make her, you know, perfectly ruined, but like I said, she's good. And um, sometimes I actually wonder if I really should have, like, actually used her. Like, I really should have used her sometimes because, again, that third skill that always makes enemies sleep, it's interesting to say the least. There's many times in the game where, you know, whether it's TOA or whatever, that you lost because you didn't land a freaking debuff, you know, like an inability, like a stun or a freeze. And sometimes you have to think, it's like, well, it was that stupid resistance, you know, my skill had 100% accuracy, like initial, I had like 90% plus accuracy, and it said resist. That stupid resistance. Hey, you know the remedy for that? It's called sleep spell. You never have to worry about that stupid enemy resistance ever again. I mean, that's one way to think of it, you know? That's one way to look at it, but... I don't know, even with that, you know, I mean... Some people say that she's just not worth keeping forever. But others say, yeah, it seems that there's more people that say to not keep her forever. Instead, she is good early to mid-game, and even... Like, what's the word in between mid-game and end-game? Because honestly, like I keep saying, there needs to be a word for that. It's not just mid-game and then end-game. No, there's, like, mid-slash-end or something, you know? Mid-end-game hybrid. The point is, she's good up until that point, the three-quarters point. And then after that, people say, uh, she's not really that useful. So I don't know, it depends. It really depends. Um, so if you have any recommendations, go ahead and leave a comment, because this monster is very popular. You know, she's a monster that everybody gets right away, and because of that, people want to know how to ruin her. And I tried my best on just saying, you know, co combine attack and HP. It's really just about that. But as far as how much attack and how much HP, it's debatable as to how much you want on each side. So, that's all I can say about her. That's really all I can say. And again, leave some comments, some recommendations on what you should be doing with her. So, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, shape, or form, please be sure to leave a like. I would appreciate that very, very much. Thank you, and I will see you all next time.